Podcast. I'm Kat. And I'm Moose. This is a true life podcast where we explore the quirks of being human. What about my worship leader iPad? <laughs> With my cords on here. Is that what that is? Well, it's a tripod. I'm going to lead everyone in a new song. <laughs> you know how they have their little iPads up there? <laughs> Like, do you need the music or the lyrics to your own song? No, I think that, yes, they do. If they just Why? wrote it. You know, it's like you writing a poem and not remembering it the next day. You need, if you're going to recite it on the Cat and Moose podcast, you would bring it. Don't you oh, think? I do. So do you need an iPad tripod? Yeah, I, I feel like in, in some like accountability sort of way in my life. I do. Uh huh. Um, and I also want to be like super judgy and be like a hater and go like, then why are you recording something that millions of people can watch and hear if you're not ready? But then I do that every week. Yeah. So who am I? I'd like, I don't you know. Judge I so am a ready. judge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So wow. seriously with my therapist this week, I let the, I usually let about 70% of the real me. I mean, she knows me, but I let the hundred percent out in oh. this, in this episode. <laughs> episode. <laughs> Do you guys have a podcast? Because here would be a good time to promote it right here. <laughs> no, it was, it was, I would pay money to listen to you and your therapist do a podcast. I lost, uh, audio in my ears. Hello, there I am. Okay, so it was an episode more like a mental health episode. <laughs> okay. Even though I didn't mean to say that. I okay. mean, you, the, That's great. you are talking to a therapist. No, it really wasn't an episode. You're okay. right. It was mm -hmm. a session. Interesting. Okay. So I'm in this therapy appointment mm -hmm. and, um, and I don't hold back. And I was telling her how I felt about myself. And I was like, yeah, like I want to do this, but I don't do it. And I was like, you know, and instead of a part saying, you stupid whore. <laughs> <laughs> and my therapist went like this. She goes, she like gasped. And then I said, uh, and then I said, oh, I'm sorry. And she goes, okay. And if she could have done the Catholic cross in front of me, she would have. Because I took her nervous system straight to fight or flight. Because I was just talking like this. And then I was like, and then you have that part that's always like critical. And she's like, you stupid whore. And she was like, ah. I like totally. I oh, triggered Lord. her. Oh, that's so funny. I felt so bad. I was like, I should oh. have warned her that that voice was coming. Yeah. The fact that you even know what that voice is and are concerned that you might make your therapist aware that it's coming, aware that it's coming. Like, that's brilliant. That's a lot of growth. Well, it I, feels I like just realized it <laughs> as I'm talking to you. Yeah. I haven't processed it. So. Mm. Okay, let's start this thing. Okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Hey, cat. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Hey, cat. Hey. <laughs> I know that you just said hello I to know, me. I know, but then you looked And at I looked at Sarah. It was like an energetic, like, oh, boomerang. Like Maybe it, well, I am her ventriloquist. Oh, <laughs> That sounds fun. Or I could throw my voice. Yeah. Ooh. What if we could pass our voices around? Let's try it. Okay. One, two, three, four, hey, four. Oh, five, that is us seven, passing it around. Eight, I thought I was four. just talking on the front of my I mouth. just thought I would offer Sarah a fun exercise at the beginning of the podcast. Oh, great. How'd Thank it go? You. Hi. And I just want to say, like, this is the the beginning of the next. It is the beginning of the next thing. Yep. Yeah. So welcome. Welcome. If welcome. you're not a Patreon, Patreon, <laughs> if you're not a Patriot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <good. laughs> wow. <laughs> Fine. And, and this is where we insert a political campaign <laughs> ad. <laughs> right, right. You know, I feel bad for RFK, by the way, because I 
Have you heard him talk? Yes, I have. It is hard to really pay attention. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to get on the stage with the debate. And he's got a worm in his head. I mean. Well, I, whoa. I don't know about that. Oh, he, he had a worm in his brain. They had to pull out of his ear. Oh, like, what kind of worm are wait, we talking about Wait, the ear doesn't here? go into the brain. Okay. It was in his brain. I'm guessing they pulled it out of the ear, but they probably had to have surgery. Sarah, <laughs> can you check this? Can you fact check yeah. us? A worm? Yeah. In his brain. Yes. How did it get there? Is it like a parasite? Yeah. Okay. That's think, different than a worm. Well, how did it get in his brain, cat, if the ear doesn't connect? <laughs> um, it would have to... Go through the scalp? It would have to breach the craniosacral pouch. Can it do that? I, I feel like you're telling me it can. Well, thank goodness we have a producer. How does a worm... Get into that. I don't know. I'm just, I am. Sorry, I'm very fixed. I'm a news source. Yes. But I, I have not named my source. So <laughs> have you found it? Oh, oh, oh. Brain worms like the one in RFK's no head way. are actually a global problem. Experts what? explain how certain worms can affect the brain and why they are important global public health problem. Earlier this week, news broke that independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. claimed to have once had a dead worm in his brain. Kennedy had been experiencing memory loss and mental fog, and he originally suspected these symptoms might be caused by a brain tumor. Brain scans in 2010 showed a cyst that his doctor said contained remains of a parasite. Man. Wow. <laughs> So, so <laughs> no, you first. Please, you first. No, I, I want to hear what you think happened. Um, we have a felon. <laughs> right. We have a blood relative of the Kennedy family. Correct. With the remains of a worm in his brain. Yeah, it's a worm pouch. A worm, okay, a worm pouch. A worm, worm. say that. Not a warm pouch. Warm pouch? Which everyone likes worm a warm pouch. pouch. I can barely say worm pouch. Worm. Because I just want to go warm pouch, warm, warm pouch. Warm pouch. Just feels very feminine. Um, okay, and then we have a man who, <laughs> bless his heart, <laughs> I think has moments of just euphoria in the middle of like highly televised like media things where like he seems like he's, he's on gummy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's literally like, dude, I love you and what is going on? Here's what he does. <laughs> He's just like, I, he sees something we don't see. <laughs> totally, totally. Like he, and whatever it is, is fucking awesome. Yeah. It's like, like, it's it's like so I'm good. like, dude, I want to see that with you, uh, man. It's like he's seeing a dimension we can't see. <laughs> totally, totally. And, and I just want to point out that these are the three people running for the office <laughs> of president of the United States of America. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's just that just wanted to I just yeah. wanted to like be sure that we all Yeah, we're on the same page. We're on the same page. I appreciate there was nothing no mention of age or gender. No. No. Intentionally. Um skin color. Just, yeah, exactly. But I'm with you. Those are our choices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, guys, like I, that's all I want to say about it. I, I do too. Yeah. I think we should move on. I have my little like thing of things I'm gonna talk about. Do you have like in your mind, do you know what you want to talk about today? Well, I have my iPad. Oh, right. Because you're a worship leader. Yes. Hello. Sorry. It, it looks it's like you've got uh, a list of things on a person next to you. This is true. Okay. Um, thank you for the prompt, Sarah. Oh, this you're welcome. This is, um, well, my friend has one too, and she calls hers Giovanni Shindo. Oh. Giovanni Shindo. This That's, is Giovanni Shindo. This is good. I like, I like that. that. Yeah. 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 Um, so I don't know if that's his name too. Like and what do you like to do with him? 
Wow. <laughs> I almost couldn't get that out. <laughs> okay. Mm. Do go on. <laughs> I like to study the movement of energy. Oh. Mm. I appreciate the loincloth. Although I still see still two bulges underneath the loincloth. I, I don't I don't hey, know how to fix it. We this. have two bulges on front of us. On front of us. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying if she wants to cover the genitals, they're not covered. And yeah. now I've this been flashed. Why, yeah, this is why you're just a fucking good friend. Thank you. You're a really good friend. <laughs> <laughs> do you see the balls do you see what i see <laughs> hiding in the night <laughs> with a tail as big as a kite I did not know with a tail as big as a kite man oh, was horrible. i'm in the christmas spirit and it's almost july that's fantastic happy yeah, christmas, christmas in july, july. yep yeah. All right, guys. So we're in the new pod loft. We can't use that phrase though, because no. the ladies on, uh, my favorite murder. That's uh-huh. what theirs is called. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we Wait, should take, do they own it though? They own that. I don't want to fuck with those people. I don't either. either. No, nope. no. So I think that what we need to do is ask our listeners, what is this new space? Ooh, what called? is the room? Okay. Hmm. It's sort of lofty. It's yeah. on the second floor. Yeah. It's an open space. And it's got a high ceiling, which I really enjoy. Yeah. yeah it's very high. Look, yeah. you can't even see my hand. No. Nope. <laughs> That's how high it is, guys. <laughs> and if you want to be a Patreon, patron from Patreon, from the from the land of Patreon, <laughs> if you want to be a citizen, <laughs> we would love to have you because this shit's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I mean, it's, it's already good. good. We're I gonna mean, give you bonus shit. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take our clothes off in front of the camera. Okay, this I'm is not where doing that. I, I was going to say, I would like for you to hear um, your friend's voice about our follow through and just. <sighs> Hi, I'm buzzkill. Hi. No, you're not buzzkill. I, I ruin every. You are a ruiner. <laughs> you stupid whore. You, <laughs> you whore. <laughs> oh, oh. Speaking of what I threw at you, I need you to pick that up because... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm, like, lightheaded from laughing so hard. Oh, my word. Uh, it's down there. Yeah, uh, that's what she said. Sarah, this, <laughs> <laughs> this is for you. Oh. Uh, it's a gift. Oh. Oh, is this... Was this planned? Yeah. This situation... So next to me. Ooh. This situation for my wine is not working. Okay. For, just not. for the future. Okay. I'm not upset right now. Coffee. Oh, it seems okay. like you are. I'll get you a tripod for I'm a also cup saying how I holder. Feel. Okay. Mosquito head net? Well, it's a little delayed. This was for the cicadas. Remember oh, I bought 72 yeah. of them? <laughs> so if we have any listeners out there who are big fans <laughs> of gardening and you need a mosquito net for your head, I will mail this to you free because oh. I have 72 of them. You're going to, who would it? Are you going to pay for shipping? They smell good. Ooh, they smell like, uh, it's like some fucking essential oil or something. So if anyone needs one of these, just hit us up. You know how. one eight six six K A T M O five. A free mosquito net from the Cat and Moose podcast. Just for you. And a thing that I would like to say is that hello at cat and moose podcast.com is currently working. And I'm like responding to people. Well, this is great because I'm I don't see it anymore and I'm oh. fine with that. Oh, okay. I really, really love our fans. No, I do too. I no, don't I know you that. do. No, I'm not saying you don't. Sorry, that came. I in. don't love I them. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> stupid <laughs> <whore>. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm gonna. Can you make that a noise that you just play? I could just do yeah. it live. Why not? Do yeah. it live. I mean, why not? Because like I'm telling you <laughs> that like I believe with all of my heart, mind, and soul. That there is at least one person out there who's going like, I have never felt this scene. Agreed. Well, look, we all hear this voice. Mine is just 
Apparently, stupid whore is not something that you should say that way to your therapist. But I really wanted her to gather what happens inside of my body. Uh, and let's be clear, you weren't calling your therapist a stupid whore. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're she would just, never, if you're she would just never. Pl- hitting play in the middle of this podcast. <laughs> my therapist is a stupid whore. <laughs> wow. I can't figure out why my therapist yeah. broke up with me. <laughs> I just picked a hair out of my mouth and yeah. went like that. It it's came from the hair. mosquito net. Yeah. So mosquito nets, <laughs> uh, cats checking the email, anything, uh, Anything come in great from the mail box that you want to share with us? Um, yes. I just want to say that I, I think the great thing to share right now is that. Well, shit fire. This <laughs> thing has got to go. Okay. We're good. <laughs> um, Do you. Stupid whore. <laughs> Healing. So much healing. Like if this is <laughs> oh, <laughs> what's going on over there. I had to sit up. I okay. was slouching. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? It is. It's hard to just sit up. It is. Like each time that I've <laughs> it is really hard to sit up. Each time I have had to readjust my body to sit up, like I felt like I've used all the energy from like half of one of my kidneys, and I only <laughs> have like one more quarter left. Uh, really no god no my mom only had like a quarter kidney oh god <laughs> that's real bad you know you are really really near the end if i know yeah it's okay. sad okay she didn't even have okay um so sarah at any point in the podcast we're gonna <laughs> need you at some point to say stupid whore <laughs> because it really it's like healing like right now no <laughs> whatever okay okay cat can you tell us about this new improv class that you're in because i oh my gosh it's i so need fun. to hear yeah it's so fun okay so i am taking an improv class at third coast comedy club which is over in uh marathon village okay over in that side of town and um i'm taking it with one of my friends who is one of my gin shindo buddies and i am um <clears throat> just really honored to get to do this with him. It's really fun. And um, so anyway, they're teaching us things that like in one way I already know because I'm like, well, duh, I do that in my job. I do that in my body work stuff. I do that in life. You know, it's like, but, but there's something about understanding that on stage with another person that you're just riffing with like how useful those things are. And it feels very Wu Wei. It yeah. feels very like, for example, this, this throws back to something you said a little while ago um, or something that I thought when you said something is everything I need, everything I mm. need to keep this going is in you. Yeah. I trust you. Yeah. Everything I need is in you. And so no matter what comes next, I know you got me. Right. Well, and that's a lot of responsibility. For who? Me. Well, do you want me to be that present or? Huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious what Sarah thinks about this. Like about the, between the two of you or between the like what you were just saying, the concept of mm-hmm. it. Yeah. It's like uh, meeting each other halfway Mm -hmm. or being willing to Mm -hmm. walk towards each other and like offer each other the same. Yeah. Grace. The same. Yeah. 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 It's not like I'm going to suck you dry. (laughs) You dirty whore. (laughs) Oh my God. I'm going to suck you dry. That is the, that's the voice I I hear when people are like, can you call me? Yeah. <laughs> and they don't say why. Right. I hate it. I know. It's the worst. They'll be like, no agenda. They'll even say no agenda. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I know what you want. Yeah. You want to suck me dry. <laughs> you stupid whore. <laughs> it, it really, yeah. And I just wanted you to know that that's not the, okay. the spirit in which. <laughs> This 
material is being presented. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is great because it will tie into my parasympathetic ner- nervous system Ooh, later. Nice. Okay. Okay. So I apologize. We're back on track. You you are saying that people need to you you're trusting your partners in improv. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's basically like it's basically saying that voice that says, You stupid whore. That voice isn't welcome here. Oh. It's just not welcome here. Good. We know it's there. We know, you know, it, it's the same in all this therapy shit. Like, it's all yeah. the same thing. Yeah. And at the same time, it's not the same thing. Because it's like, I'm taking a class and I have learned something for the first time. That this voice. You stupid whore. That's not welcome here. <laughs> in Like, in the podcast. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's how we started this whole homicide session <laughs> episode. Episode. Mental yeah. health episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if we start calling it sessions, we're going to be in legal trouble. You're wor- really Why? worried about getting in trouble today. I know. Isn't that strange? I have a lot of trouble worried about getting in trouble too. Okay. What is? What are you worried about getting in trouble for? Everything. Everything? I, I like hate cops because I'm afraid mm. of them. Mm. Like anytime I see a cop, I'm, just, I'm sober as sober can be. I'm driving in daylight. I've paid my registration, <laughs> but I see a cop and I'll literally duck out into a, I'll just be like, yo bro. And I'll like turn. <laughs> I mean, I'm very suspicious. Huh. So like, if you just see one, you like, whew. oh yeah, hmm. I, I'm afraid of them. Hmm. Have have you had a bad experience with a police officer? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something that you're comfortable telling millions no, of people about? Not really. Okay, but, well then let's but it's not, not talk about super it. Super traumatic. It's just like I no, but I, that's it's that way with anyone. Like mm. I didn't want to be in trouble with teachers mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I think that um, I think that that's like a psychology thing. Yeah, I, don't I th- usually am one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Add it to the list. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I don't mean it. I don't mean it in that way. Oh, I, that means that you're bipolar. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. I've now paid you tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. 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 Right. Hmm. I never understood why psychologists only give you like, f- no, not psychologists psychiatrists Mm -hmm. i've only been to one once okay and it was 15 well the first intake was like 40 minutes but then everyone after was like 15 minutes and you're like you want me to tell you and i think it's just to get refills which i don't want to do that Hmm. like would you would it be like a therapeutic situation like no it's how how are you feeling oh how are you feeling okay more like chemically Hmm. Is this medication working for you? Hmm. And Instead if it is, have like, a nice day. Yeah. Not there. Don't do any feelings like parts work. Like I'm sure there's some great psychiatrists out there. I know a couple friends who I are great ones. I don't know if I've ever been to a psychiatrist. I hadn't either, <clears throat> but then I thought I was ADHD or whatever, ADD something mm-hmm. and wanted some thoughts on it. Yeah. So I tried it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it that's the story <laughs> please don't knock it until you've tried it <laughs> yeah I, t- I tried it and now i can knock it yeah. just get not not all just this one that i saw yeah good i'm glad that's over with he actually said to me on the call i was sipping a waterloo and we spent a good five of the 15 minutes talking about my favorite flavors of sparkling water oh okay got it so that might have been code. Was it? It it may have been. Like if you oh. think about like artificial intelligence and all of that, it's like yeah. okay, if she's drinking the strawberry still, like yeah. keep her on the Oh yeah. N C thirteen because that's the right. that's the thing, you know? Like uh-huh. I wish conspiracy theories were fun again. <laughs> Is this not fun? I no, I enjoy them, but you know, everyone like ruined them during COVID. Yeah. Like people were like, oh, I'm going to actually believe them, believe them. Mm. And that's why they got ruined. Yeah, because they start. It was then like misinformation. It wasn't mm. just like, what if we didn't really what go if? on the moon? You stupid whore. You stupid whore. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you are a funny woman. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I got to tell you guys about this shit that I'm reading about. Okay. So, I've been reading this book. Oh, I've been reading a lot of things about polyvagal theory. Mm-hmm. And you've talked about this before, I think. Mm-hmm. Have you? I have mentioned the word before. I am not very schooled uh, on it at all. Oh, uh, I'm not schooled. That's why I'm talking about it. <laughs> okay. I'm talking about it because it has... Anything that heightens my compassion for myself, Mm. I walk towards. Yeah, man. And the Enneagram has done that for me. But also this polyphagal theory, I have been, I am always in search of why. Mm -hmm. Like that is, I think most humans are. Did you forget there was a dog there? (laughs) I did. I did. And I was like, all I saw was like a snake going... (laughs) Not really. I didn't see that. I just was startled. You stupid whore. (laughs) You stupid whore. (laughs) Okay. So uh, you can put that up on the screen, Sarah, if you want. You're a juggler. I'm juggling. So patrons, we will uh, attach this image Mm -hmm. so that you can see what we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So this is, I want to give credit on here, on here. So on the movementparadigm.com is where I'm reading this information from. And I want to give credit for this image by Ruby Joe Walker. Um, but this image has really helped me a ton. So I've been reading a couple different books um, <clears throat> about polyvagal theory. And if you're like, I don't care about that. Great. But if you have felt burnout or, you know, notice anxiety in your body or notice when you can't move and you don't know why and all of those things. The thing that has interested me most about this is you have like the level, the base, the foundation, I will say of, of what polyvagal theory is, is when you're in like a calm state, when you feel safe and all of that. And that's what they call social engagement. And then the next step up is when you start having Say something comes into your life that makes you freak out. That's where your fight fight and flight uh, happens. And then one step up from that is freeze, which is where uh, some people have called it nervous system collapse. And so anyway, what, what this has done for me is it's helped me realize why I have so much of a frozen nature hmm. in my different parts of my life. There's, okay. there's times where I can just get up and go. And there's times where I literally feel like I can't move across the room to even plug in my phone, even yeah. though it's dead. Yeah. Yeah. And so <clears throat> what's interesting about these three places for me is, is I feel like if you can note it, like they say the key to it is noticing when you're out and you're freaking out because mm-hmm. that will always be happen before a trigger. That will be like, usually a trigger will create that. Hmm. So you and I are having a conversation. All of a sudden we get into it about something, Mm -hmm. something you said triggered me. It's not your fault, but it's a trigger for me. Mm -hmm. And I go into, okay, I just want this to be over. Mm -hmm. So I go into like fight or flight. And then I could deal with something else that may even be like a deeper traumatic trigger. Everybody always talks about trigger and that could completely freeze me where I'm just Mm -hmm. like, I actually don't want to see anyone for two days Mm -hmm. because that freaked me out so much, Yeah, which I've learned that I can go into freeze when it comes to news things, Hmm. whenever there's a shooting. Oh, wow. I I go into freeze where I'm obsessed with it. And I, and I, I just, I'm like, I can't believe that humanity can do that to one another. And so like, that's a big trigger for me. But one of the things that's really cool is in this book that I'm reading by Deb Day, and I will tell everyone the name of it. Can you look up Polyvagal book? It's not that one. Um, by Deb Deb Day. Anyway, in there she talks about this thing called shimmers. And hmm. so you have triggers mm-hmm. and then shimmers. And huh. shimmers are when we notice that we are in that safe space. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. I know. And like you did that earlier oh. when we were just downstairs at the house mm-hmm. and you were like, I feel so calm here. This yeah. is great. Yeah. And I'm trying to do that more because it's so easy to focus on like, well, clearly that triggered me, mm-hmm. you know, and then mm-hmm. it feels like a spiral from there. But like <clears throat> noticing like, wow, this feels safe. This feels mm-hmm. 
like some of the words they use around the social engagement area, which is like where you do feel safe is calmness and connection, settled groundedness, playful, Hmm. curious, Hmm. open-minded, compassionate. Hmm. Um, and you're less defensive when you're in that state. Yeah. And then as you go up to fight or flight, you're looking, um, over here under the sympathetic nervous system, I mean, like physical things happen, your blood pressure changes, Mm -hmm. all these, uh, the adrenaline comes in. And then as you go up to freeze, um, even more, your heart rate, depth of breath is less, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am, uh, I am challenging us in our listeners to look for those glimmers Mm -hmm. too. It's Mm -hmm. so easy to notice when you're like, ah, but Mm -hmm. in reality, um, it's important to notice when we're safe too. Yeah. A trigger and a glimmer. Sounds like a beautiful title. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But what about you stupid whore? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely <laughs> a trigger. That's triggering. Uh, yeah. That I would say so. That didn't make you guys feel safe. <laughs> Not yeah. at all. And yet somehow very safe. <laughs> familiar. <Yeah. laughs> familiar. <laughs> Oh, welcome to your next decade of work, Kat. You're going to differentiate between familiar and safe. Exactly. <laughs> hmm. There's something that makes me want to walk toward it, but I'm not sure that's the healthiest thing for me. Right, because you're a stupid whore. <laughs> because only stupid whores would do that. Right. Well, guys. Oh, man. This has been healing. What a great episode it's been. It really yeah. has. I've enjoyed getting to know you guys <laughs> <laughs> i've enjoyed the healing essence of this episode it has been fantastic yeah it's been real life-giving yeah it really has <laughs> love you sarah love you Moose. love you guys <laughs> love you guys have a great week bye see ya special thanks to our producer sarah reed to find out more, go to catandmoosepodcast.com. Cat and Moose is a BP production.